We will never give up. We will never give up. Yeah. Yeah. the sound of the British public wanting their freedoms back. Warning. Censorship. This is Lewis Brackpool for Rebel News and today I'm in central London in Parliament Square where the British citizens are gathering today to protest against Covid tyranny. Now I've been covering these protests for a long time now and predictions have actually come true. We spoke about the vaccine passports a lot and they've been rolled out into England, the last country within the United Kingdom. And it's safe to say that we're quite worried on what's going to be happening next. So the questions I'll be asking the British public today will be, where do we go from here? And how do we end this COVID tyranny? I'm fighting big tech censorship to bring you a voice against these divisive vaccine passports. Now, whilst I talk to you on camera, we have a designated set of people to help set up this giant petition and a special website for you to visit and sign your signature. My promise is to hand deliver these signatures to the doorstep of the House of Parliament. So visit rebelnews.com forward slash fight vaccine passports UK and have your say. So you could probably see, we haven't even started the march yet and the, the turnout is unbelievable. I mean, take a look at that. Take a look at that. These people care so much for this country. From you. I've, heard your, I've heard your top interview on Rebel News. Can I get I'm an autograph? I'm the top DJ, mate. Please. I'm good, how are you? I'm all right. I'm yeah. all right. I seem to see you at every single protest, right? I'm here, man. Consistency. I'm liking it. What we're going around and asking now is we were predicted that the vaccine passports were going to come through at the end of this year, and it's happened. 100%. Where do you see the country going now, and how does this end? It's a really hard question because I like to keep it in the current day. I don't like to think too far because you think too far, you start thinking about the AI technology and the, the well, great the social reset, credit. And you start looking system. at what they say, yeah. not our conspiracy theories. It's what they say and the information they put out towards us because they tell you by 2030 things are going to be different. Okay. They tell you technology is going to take over your work. They tell you there's going to be a basic income they're going to try and put everyone on. So I try to not get too far ahead to myself because the future does seem dark. But this is all right, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the turnout has been absolutely fantastic, it's having a look. They are, they're brilliant. This is all right, isn't it? I don't know who they are. Like I said, look, we've got a Trump flag there. I just want to talk some facts, yeah? Young men around our country are suffering and they're killing themselves because of the current world situation we find ourselves in. And there's nothing more important than mental health. That will always and forever will be the most important problem our country faces. Yeah. Is the feelings and thoughts we battle when we're by ourselves and even when we're in a group of people. Look after your friends, look after your family. Stay God bless, safe, brother. Man. Keep doing good work, man. Thank you. So I'm going around asking people today at the protests, when do you think this is going to end and how do you see the country going in this current climate? The short answer to that is it isn't going to end until everybody stands together, united, and everybody stands up and says, no, we're not doing this. We know this is not about people's we know this is about control, social control and otherwise. We're going to start the march now. I think people have already started to make their way across the main roads. The turnout here is immense. I've not seen it this big since I started covering the protests a few months ago. So let's continue and ask people questions. We will not let them turn in their pride. We are here. We honour them. We honour freedom. We march today. We will never give up. 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 Yeah. 
David, you have been consistently at every single march for a politician as well, really, really pushing that message out. Yeah. So my question is to you, when will it end and what can we do to prevent this from happening? But what we can do is we can push back and we got to push back harder and then harder and then harder again. You know, this week, the Johnson regime with Labour <coughs> Acting together, they've accelerated what they want to do. You know, this was coming, but it's a shock now it's here. But what we have to do now in the short term are millions of acts of non-compliance. So I am not going to obey them when they say don't see your friends and your family. I am not going to get a booster jab. Well, I haven't even had one jab of these in Thousands of people are still willing to come out and say no, Johnson, Starmer, Klaus Schwab and everyone else behind you, we are not going to accept your vision for the future because we do not consent to you changing our society in a way that we don't want you to do. We are taking back control of our country. This is our land and you have no say in what happens in our land. It's ours. And get your hands off it. Love it. I don't. There you go. And the people have answered. There we go. I don't think you're going to be invited to Boris Johnson's Christmas party, mate. I very much doubt it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. I really appreciate okay, that. Cheers. People have predicted the vaccine passports being rolled into England, the last country of the UK to implement them. It's getting very lively as well, which is fantastic. Do you think that this will end? This can end any time when we choose to. It's just that people have to simply stop, like, no, no kind of revolutionary violent action, just simply a civil discourse where you just go, right, we're not going to follow this anymore and we're going to stop doing it. And like I said to you earlier, there's going to be new people in this, pro it's a watershed moment today because you're going to get new people in the protest who will be wearing masks, may agree with the jabs, but they just disagree with the, with the actual passport which is absolutely totally anti it's totally illiberal we're meant to be living in a liberal democracy and i totally believe that as an englishman personally is that i am totally against these totalitarian authoritarian measures that the government are putting in but i sincerely do plead to the public it's just all you have to do you don't have to do anything like revolutionary or you know get down here and march all you have to do is as business owners and individual people is just stop complying with these nonsense rules and then it all falls apart like a house of cards and that's all you have to do they only care about expanding the size of the state and having more authoritarian powers and that's it thank you very very much it is getting rowdy i'll tell you that so as you can see thousands and thousands of people are flooding the streets of london at the minute Thank you very much. It just keeps growing and growing and people obviously are wondering what's this march about. It's quite clear to see that people are very, very worried about what the future entails of Great Britain. You're yes. on a live stream, by the oh, way. Oh, hello. Uh, what That's is this? Rebel News. Hey. hey How's guys? it going? You're all right, yeah? yeah is this guy you? with you? Uh, yes. Hello, yes. buddy. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Did you want a quick interview? Uh, I'm doing the interviews. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, you're I'm doing the interview. This is on my live feed. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, shout out to everyone there. Keep Magic, going, keep doing the threads care, as well yeah. on Twitter. Right. Nice one, Enjoy mate. it. Here come the old Bill. Yes, Yes. How are you? All good, man. You? Hello. How are you right? Yeah, all good. Support you some truth, man. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look at that. Let's jump in. Very, very creative. I'll give you that. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Stick it up your ass. Yeah. We've been standing here for a good solid 10 minutes just watching people go by and the momentum here is just incredible. So do, do you see this carrying on? Do you see it dwindling out? I think it can only get bigger. I think people are fed up and I think what's missing is, is there's a lot of energy and there's a lot of negativity surrounding the government. 
there's not any sort of pure force to channel into. I think as much as I agree with the anti-lockdown sentiment, I think it's um, it's a manifestation of a lot of other problems. It's a manifestation of people's economic concerns, of people's concerns around their own freedoms, freedom of speech, online discussions, you know, the censorship surrounding the discussions of the vaccines. All these different topics are being manifested here. I think what's missing now is for this energy to be channeled in something productive, right? You know, we can sit here and complain about the government, but then what's plan B, right? Because we can't expect the Tory government to change their ways. We can't expect a Labour government to do any better. So we have to come up with an alternative, propose that alternative, and think about how we're going to implement that alternative as well. Brilliant. Thank you very, very no much. Problem. Really appreciate work. it. I've been standing here for well over 10 to 15 minutes just watching the crowd go by, and it has not stopped. I reckon we're probably hitting around 90,000 around about to 100,000 and it just keeps on going. It just doesn't stop. This movement has expanded massively. And the BBC and Sky News and all the legacy media outlets will not report that we are here and it is a damn shame. Vaccine passports was predicted. It's been pushed through into England now at the end of this year, 2021. Where do you see things going now? Well, one of my friends just bought a boat and we're going to go sailing. So I think we should take it to the seas. Right, and okay. they can't really stop you flying if you have a boat. So I think we should learn how to sail. I think it's an amazing thing. I think we should stay united, come with these protests, the, the light newspaper spreading the word. I think uh, the big issue we're having right now is censorship. Yep. So people just don't know. They don't have the information. And, you know, they may be just wrong, wrongly following a certain path. Yeah. So by spreading knowledge, coming together, I think that's the next step. Yeah. Staying united. Right now, protesters are going through the most expensive part of the Monopoly board, Mayfair Street. So, you guys aren't part of the protest? No. What do you think about what's going on? I disagree with it. Okay, tell me why. Because it's just clear, like the streets are all packed now, and not a lot of people know what's going on. Like, I've just heard it from over there, and I've come over, and cars aren't moving and everything like that. I just disagree with it. Do you disagree with um, forced vaccinations? No, I don't disagree with that. I just feel should use social media. You guys are old enough to go to the pub, right? Yeah. Yeah? How would you feel if you had to present a COVID pass if you need to go into for a drink with your mates? I do that. You wouldn't I, want to do that? No. So why aren't you joining them then? Because it's too much hassle. What do you mean too much hassle? It causes bad, it causes bad po problems. Well, how are they going to listen uh, in Parliament? Social media. What, sending him a tweet? Yeah. At Boris Johnson. Yeah. Get rid of COVID passes, please. Yeah. That's how it should be done. That is the sound of the British public wanting their freedoms back. is loud. We're now making our way through Piccadilly Circus, the famous part of central London, and everyone is still full of energy and still freedom! still shouting freedom. Exactly. freedom. Exactly. What do you think of today? What's the turnout been like? What are your thoughts? So the turnout has been absolutely electric. Like, look at the people from there to there. I've got a friend that is literally 20 minutes away and she's still telling me that there's still people going down. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's a massive protest. However, what we're here for is that the dynamics have changed again. I stopped protesting for a few months, four to five months, because I thought the world's going back to normal. But it's just not. These people are so persistent in, in this um, regime that they want to try to bring in. And it's getting quite dark now and serious now. So I initially thought that the vaccine passports and the mandates were the same thing. Until someone described it to me that the mandates is the state forcing now these things. And I just can't believe what on earth is going on to this country, to Europe. It's unrecognisable. And if we let these two things go past, it's almost like the final stage, the beginning of the end. Do you know what I'm saying? If they lock these two things in, and what they're trying to do with language and yeah, world yeah. culture, it's all tied into the same thing. And there's not many people fighting this fight. Yeah. And I think user Rebel News is number one because you got the law as well, and you got the sort of finance to help this thing out, man. It's so important what you're doing, man. Thank Fantastic you. work. I appreciate that. We finished marching, and we've ended up at Downing Street and outside the Cenotaph, where protesters are still showing their consent.
concern against this tyrannical government. Now, throughout the year, after covering all these protests and talking to the citizens of Great Britain, it's sad to say that a lot of the predictions people have been saying have come true, like the vaccine passports, for example. Now, I've set up a brand new campaign, fightvaccinepassports.co.uk, where you can sign a petition and I will hand deliver all of the signatures to this building for the people, because it's so important to get that message out. So please visit fightvaccinepassports.co.uk. And thank you very much. This has been Lewis Brackpool outside of Downing Street well done, for Rebel Lewis. News. Thank you very much. Now, if you enjoy my honest man on the street journalism, where we cover the anti-lockdown and anti-mandates protests, no other legacy media outlet is going to report on this. So if you enjoy it, you can now support me at ukreporters.com. Thank you.